Try to play strip and not panic so much about like the DTs and stuff, the Archon drops and whatnot. Well, Hurricane already taking a bit of an upset lead here in this best of five. We'll find out if Rogue can tie it up. We're going into game number two on merry-go-round. The map is loaded. Let's jump into it. And up here in the top left, we do have the player down a game. It is Rogue. Oh, drone pops out. It goes right to work. That's the thing about drones, man. As soon as they're born, they're, like, ready to work. It's and a harsh life. It's a harsh life, man. Up to the top right in red, it's Hurricane. Looks to be doing a forge build this game based on his probe move out. Wants yeah. to cannon a little bit. He's not going to go straight to the Zerg, though. Wait. Turns around. What are you thinking? Interesting. Mm. That is kind of a weird movement. There's, like, nothing to scout in this matchup right there. Some hesitation. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe just going for a blind forge, maybe for a nexus first into forge. Could be a nice greedy way to start things off. It's not like Rogue is going to be going for any sort of early pool, so it would be a great choice for him. Yeah. Once again, Rogue's head a little bit, I think. Ooh. Hurricane, I feel like he's making the right choice here. I like it a lot. Yeah. He's going to get a very greedy start. Nexus first. Looks like we're going to be going for the hatch first. Will he go double hatch before pool is the next question. Mm, I don't think Rogue will. Will he go for the trifecta? Although, drone coming down. Mm, is he going to be scouting? Uh, looks like he's going to be going straight for that third hatchery. I think so. Two more drones started. Yeah. Just patrolling the drone on top of the ramp to make sure he's not getting cannoned. I'm just going to come over here, see no forge, and instantly send that drone down to the third base. Lucky Overlord Scout, because um, since he wasn't drone scouting, had uh, Hurricane been at the bottom, he probably would have been a little bit more conservative here. A little bit more timid, yeah. All right, still going to go for that pull before the third hatchery there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. This is a bit of a mistimed drone send out over there. It's definitely having some second thoughts. Maybe scared of that forge that's coming up now. Like, I mean, there is still ample time for a probe to come down to that third base or even the natural and just drop a cannon. And, I mean, spawning pull only half done at this point. And that's going spawning pool before a third hatchery. Yeah. Um, I mean, with the drone, that's exactly... I mean, he's echoing your concerns with that drone following the probe, just making sure uh, there's no cannoning because those lings are still a ways away. And the game's going to kind of normalize now. See the gateway on the way. And... Uh, well, I mean, at this point, um, I guess all we, all we can do here, Moonglade, is wait. We can only wait and see fantasize about what's going to be happening next in uh, Legacy of the Void Wolf. Yeah. That's all we can do at this point, mate. Well, I'm hoping that, I mean, we, we talked about Blizzard being more open to radical changes uh, in this game right now, and um, I'm hoping that they're even open to the idea of, like, say, replacing the Cyclone with a totally different new unit, or even replacing the Disruptor, or whatever they feel like. I want them to try everything. Have you experienced uh, cracklings in uh, Legacy yet? Not yet. Uh, not They're amazing. What what was changed about them? Forty percent increased damage. That's right. Yeah. Speed. Sorry. Attack speed. Attack speed. Yeah. Not damage. That'd be crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they actually make such a big difference now. Like uh, I, I had a very long game against one player today, and I was using cracklings to like base trade or like attack expansion and stuff. And they can DPS down like a Nexus. With three three links so quickly. That's um was something we saw a lot in Brood Wars. Those like late game links, if you mass yeah, them, well, you could just kill buildings well, so fast. Links were actually relevant in the late game in, in Brood War, which is a big difference to what they are now in, in uh, StarCraft Two, especially Heart of the Swarm. Like, well, they just get blown up by AOE damage. Colossus, Storm, any Karkon, like anything will kill them like instantly. Wherein, uh, I gotta say, in Brood War, it just didn't happen that way, except unless maybe Storm or yeah, well, or Storm Reavers. Storm ran down. Um, but the thing about storms in StarCraft One is they you couldn't like they couldn't smart cast, so you had to be really careful. It was like much harder to storm in StarCraft One. Like for example, guys in StarCraft Two, if you have like eight high templars, like and you just spam T and click, like same as four sealed and smart cast, they're all going to be separate. But in StarCraft One, if you did that, it would all like storm the same location, and storm doesn't stack in StarCraft One either. So it's a lot tougher to storm. Um, I know Terran players in StarCraft One would like like me would be like, well, I mean, it's not that hard for us. Pretty easy race, right? But <laughs> anyways, let's get back to Starcraft 2. Ooh, that Overlord. That Feeling overlord. the fire, man. Should get out alive. Had a big scout. It's going to scout the Robo. Now, this could give away a lot. This could be like, well, are you going for an Immortal all-in? 
my friend, is that what you're planning right now? He's like, I hope it's not disruptors. Well, you're going <laughs> to see a couple of gateways go down as well. Only three for now. He's going to wait until that overload goes before he adds any more, I think. It's funny that the overload actually runs into those gateways and does go. see them anyways, too. Like, Two more gateways being added. I feel like this is, uh, this is some sneaky, beaky kind of stuff. We yes. do see a warp prism first, so he's definitely mm. going to try to harass his way into the follow-up. Yeah, he's going to see a zealot. Turn around and deal with that. So, okay. Not going to find much damage with this. We already see four gases up. Spine crawler in the main base actually. In the main, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice. He's he's reading this really well. Oh, I think yeah. he's concerned about a possible um, sentry drop. Uh, Seven eight. gateways being added. Completely all in from a warp prism. So he's going for that hardcore warp prism all in. Do we have a roach warren yet? Nope, no, it's going to be done. pure lings. Uh, plus one, thankfully, is only half done for Hurricane, so he has a bit of time before he has to really worry about, uh, you know, plus one zealots killing every single zergling. He's really concerned about a sentry drop on the main. It's just not happening here. Um, but we are going to see this attack hit the third base. It's going to be off creep where he decides to warp him. Lings are ready. Oh, he sees it. Uh, no speed just yet, though. Just barely not. No. And this means these stalkers can actually be so much more relevant for a few more seconds. Hydra's finally being added. He can get a good surround once speed is finished. Yeah, I actually can't believe he's even walking on creep here. Even with time warp on those sentries, speed's done here. And when those uh, four seals fade, he can do so much more. Plus one. Not finished just yet. So close to. Rogue has a small window to actually do damage here. He's going to go for it now. Yep, coming in here. Cheney's mine. <laughs> 11 Hydra's on the way. Yep, coming in here now, and uh, I mean, these drones have to get out of here. Here come those speedlings, but again, there's just not enough support. Where are the Hydras? They're not here yet. He needs to wait for Hydras if he wants to really trade efficiently against this. A few more come out now, and drones even are fighting here. The, the Warp Prism stays alive. He does target down the Mothership Core uh, instead. This is badly mistimed from Rogue, I feel. He should have waited before he, uh, he went for the fight. He needed to wait for those Hydras, and now he's in a very sticky situation. All the Hydras are being targeted down by the Stalkers. Just not enough. What do you think about the um, the target on the, the Mothership Core instead of the Warp Prism? If you kill the Warp Prism, you stop the push, right? Like that, yeah, exactly. But, but it's, it's too late now. It's too little too late. Uh, we don't have any pylons on the side of the map, which is one thing that Rogue is very lucky for. Yeah, he doesn't point. even know that there's not pylons. Yeah, he's actually going to commit everything to this, and he does have a lot of Hydras this time. Yeah, a lot of Hydras here, and uh, Zerg is a race that can transition out after this, even after losing a lot of drones, especially because he still has that third hatch. It's still alive. Yeah. Oh, more Stalkers. Without Blink, mind you, though, so... Still, that is a lot of Stalkers, and that's only 6-7 Hydra. Another oh. one getting picked up, awkwardly. Yeah, and the Creep's getting cleared up here as well. He should probably just focus on killing this Hatchery, then following it up with Blink. I you think know, that would be a, a fantastic sort of follow-up. Another Warp Prism is on the way, so he's definitely um, going to have some better reinforcing power here, not just rallying from the main anymore. Supply block here now, a bit annoying for him. He's got to be careful how to engage this. That is a lot of Hydras now. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, your your advice about the uh, just hitting the third base, kill that, and get out is pretty good. I think I think it makes it like almost unwinnable for the Zerg, so long as you, you transition well. And he is transitioning to a Robo Bay, which is very smart. Zerg is still miles away from transitioning uh, or from droning up that third base again. Only four are currently on that base. So essentially, we're seeing Rogue completely all in from this. If he actually catches these Stalkers out in the map, he might have a chance of just counterattacking and win. But if this Robo, uh, Robo Bay gets up, he makes a Colossus or two, there's nothing that Rogue's going to be able to do. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I wonder how much he's going to commit to this next attack. I think he's just going to poke and walk back. He's going to have a Mothership Core, which is nearly enough energy for recall. Not quite yet. Oh, he's going to drop. Yeah, he's going to go for that sentry drop, finally. Man, this could kill. This could kill. Yeah, I mean, he's got a ton of reinforcing power on those gateways. He's built up a ton of resources, too. Uh, we see four Hydras in the main base. Uh, is that going to be enough? He has no vision of this warp prism right now. Depends how much he warps in and how quickly he does it as well. There's the four seal. There's a bit missed, though. I think Lynx can actually get in there. Bit of a wonky. Oh, he's going for the, <laughs> the warp prism, and he does. Really messed that one up. Wow. One more shot. Oh, the Hydra canceled the animation. He almost got that. Oh, my goodness. But, like, that force was just totally missed. That Even still, I think he would have been okay, but... Yeah, he, he would have killed the Warp Prism regardless. Like, four Hydras was enough to really DPS that down. Hurricane needs to be careful not to throw this away. Yeah, he definitely has a chance of winning this. 
First Colossus is out as well, mind you. No range on it, though. And look at the army supplies. Uh, this is a ton of gateway units. Yeah, Hydras do beat gateway units um, if there's a large Hydralist count, but there's not much support for them. And like you said, the Colossus, even without range. Even the, just this, the, the force fields can win you fights against Hydras as well, mind you. Like, if there's yeah. enough Stalkers and Sentries, you can still trade pretty damn efficiently against Hydras. Though it is much harder without Blink, I granted. Yeah, true, true. Um, well, here we go. Zealot's at the back here. You might want to rearrange this army for a second. Looks like he's just going to go for it. Going to try six Corruptors out. Going to need some good focus fire on this. Yep. Bit wonky sort of positioning with these Stalkers as well. Oh, Warp Prism Micro here. Pretty godlike, actually. Uh, but look, look at that concave of the Hydras. Yep. He needs more Force Fields if he wants to fight this. And now he's starting to drop them, but... The Hydras are eating away at these Zealots left and right. The longer this goes on, the better for Rogue. I don't know if it's going to go on much longer, though. He needs force fields again. These concaves from the Hydras are just too much. Here, well, here's a great solution to that. Go up a ramp and then force field that off. You're good to go. Uh, here come those drones, but force field is pretty good. Mothership Core gets picked off, you know, so he's going to have to want to fight these Hydras eventually and hopefully in a good position. It's like Rogue actually might just be going for a counterattack, which isn't a half bad idea considering there is no oh, no mother core. Yeah. yeah. He's going to catch a Colossus Reinforcer. Sentries come up here, though, again. Two of them are going to have two force fields. Okay, he's just waiting here in the middle of the map Ooh. to try to trap this army. Warp Prism gets low, does live for the moment. And Ooh. there it goes. Now this uh, Colossus falls as well, but there's not enough Hydras, I don't think. Mm, and they're off creep. Oh, as I say that, that Colossus goes down. I think that really changed everything. I think if Hurricane just runs for now, while his Zealots do damage in the main base, he could just... This is so close, actually. Now I'm getting, like, uh, chills here. This is, like, insanely close. This is, like, too close, in my opinion. The Hydra's in a bad place now. It's going to give uh, Hurricane another chance to fight pretty efficiently. Might be enough this time. Mm, Transfuse trying to help out here. <laughs> Drones coming off the line, but yeah, look at the reinforcements. I think this is actually finally going to be it. This might just be it. He's going to lose a lot of stalkers, though. He's waiting for these zealots from behind to help out as well. Well, look at the drone count now down to 28. Yeah, it should be over, right? I think oh. that's going to be it. What There's a weird fight, man. Yeah, that was a weird game. Why are these games so wonky today? I don't know, man. You know, like, kind of liking it. I do too, but, but I'm kind of getting nervous from it as well. I'm just like... Jeez. I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm trying to call these fights, but then something else happens, something weird happens, and well, it's like not even your fault, man. It's <laughs> just like, <laughs> it's I don't, like, I, you're I don't like, want to be, but <laughs> you're not, you're not even like, you're not controlling these units, man. It's, it's fine. Like, <laughs> um, well, yeah, uh, that was another colossus here. This should be it, right? I should mean, it, Wolf? I think so. What if these spine crawlers kill the colossus because it doesn't have range? Whoa! What if, what if something like that? All happens? right, hold on, hold what? the phone. I have to say, out of anybody doing a manor nexus, he, Hurricane <laughs> is not the one who's qualified. But well, I mean, it's it's, it's against Rogue, right? You know the, how temperamental this guy is. GG. GG. He doesn't oh. even type it in. He doesn't even type it in English, man. He, he types it twice in Korean. That's a sign of tiltedness if I've ever seen one. You know what? I actually, I'm so glad you brought that up. Because